an introduction to Islam in Spain. There's a very long history of Islam in Spain as Islam reached there in the year 711. So please feel free to do your own research and watch other videos about this topic. It's a very long topic. Historically, the area of Spain and Portugal was called Al Andalus during the time of the Muslims. Historically, it was called Vandalusia due to the Vandals who lived there. During that time, there were many Jewish people living within the area and they were not pleased with the way that they were being treated. So they went to Muslim leader Musa bin Nusayr in North Africa and asked him for assistance. And he sent the other Muslim leader from North Africa as well, he was not Arab, called Tariq bin Ziyad. Tariq bin Ziyad crossed over the area from North Africa through the Straits of Gibraltar into Spain. Hence the name Gibraltar which is derived from the Arabic Jabal Tariq, which means Mount Tariq, a reference to Tariq bin Ziyad. The Muslims had a great influence on the area, such as in terms of architecture. So for example, this is a photo of the Great Mosque of Cordoba, which is now a cathedral. They also had other influence, such as the Alhamra Palace in Granada. If you ever visit the Alhamra Palace, you will find this hall with 12 lion statues. This was given as a gift to the Muslims from the Jewish community to celebrate the close relationship that they enjoyed with the Muslims at the time. The Muslims had influence on the agriculture. So for example, they planted many trees, such as lemon trees, olives, and even orange trees that were not there before. There were many influential scientists at the time, such as Abu Qasim al-Zahrawi in the 10th century. He developed surgical instruments which were still very influential and remained in use up until as recent as the 20th century. Another example was Abbas ibn Farnas in the 9th century. He attempted to fly but he wasn't successful. He very badly injured himself but nonetheless the fact remained that he tried to fly long before the Wright brothers. There were others such as Ibn Hazm in the 10th century who argued that the world was round. For further details on this, please watch my other video about Muslim geographers. Another very influential person in the 9th century was Ziryab. There's a lot of dispute about where he was originally from. Some say that he was from North Africa, others say that he was Arab, Persian or even Kurdish. But nonetheless, it shows that how multicultural the society was at the time. He had a lot of influence. So for example, he was a musician and he introduced the Arabian Oud into Europe. That most likely influenced the Spanish guitar which is still in use today. He introduced many other things such as toothpaste, summer and winter clothing and even the idea of a three course meal. Later the Christians managed to regain control of the land which is now known as Spain and within the same year 1492 Christopher Columbus set sail for the Americas shortly afterwards. A number of Muslims still remained in Spain during that time under hidden identities and they were known as the Moriscos. They remained up until about 250 years after the year 1492 when the Christians regained control of Spain. In recent times, a number of Muslims have been returning to Spain such as to work as skilled laborers, mostly from the areas of North Africa such as Morocco, Tunisia and Algeria. A number of mosques have also been built across Spain. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video interesting. Please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel.